April 30th, St. Catherine of Siena. St. Catherine was born in Siena on March 25, 1347. From an early age, she wanted to devote herself entirely to God, but her parents did not approve. According to her confessor and biographer, Raymond of Capua, she had her first vision of Christ when she was five or six years old. At the age of seven, Catherine made a vow to give her whole life to God. When she was 16, her older sister died in childbirth, and her parents wanted her to marry her sister's husband. She was completely opposed and began a strict fast. Eventually, her parents gave up. Two years later, she became a member of the Third Order of St. Dominic. She lived outside the convent in the family home in almost total silence and solitude. But after some time, she was told by Christ in a vision to leave her solitary life and become involved in public affairs. She became one of the most remarkable saints of the Middle Ages. She wrote to the Pope, Gregory XI, and convinced him to leave Avignon and return to Rome. After his death, with the outbreak of the Western Schism, the new Pope, Urban VI, called her to Rome. She aided the Pope in trying to convince the nobles and cardinals of his legitimacy. She wrote to the leaders of many countries trying to bring peace to a divided Europe. St. Catherine died in Rome on April 29, 1380, at the age of 33. Her last words were, Father, into your hands I commend my soul and my spirit. Pope Urban VII celebrated her funeral and burial in the Basilica of Santa Maria Sopra Minerva in Rome. She was canonized in 1461, and she was declared a doctor of the church in 1970. St. Catherine of Siena, pray for us. Oh.